Okay, Rajiv, hmm. Ifa. Now that we've established that you're not there and both of us are out here. Right. Like, but you know, big I, things I, to I, watch I, I, I've, so look, I've been vacationing, sorry, I've been working at Ifa for the last 10 years, right? And I can tell you. Is that how before it, or after you had the truth serum? No, no, listen, I'll tell you what. At the end of the day, truth sells. And this new and whole new thing is that if you tell people the actual truth, you get better TRPs yeah. and ratings. So this is the new me, okay? Uh, truth seeker and teller. Actually, you get a lot of TRPs from telling fibs also. But anyway, let's not, no, let's not get that, political. Those are different, let's not go political those are different channels, right? Yeah, let's not get political. <laughs> okay, so this. IFA differs from CES and the Mobile World Congress because very few mobile phones, lots of audio, lots of new technology. And I think a great showcase of things that we'll actually use, like for instance, there'll be laptops that actually come to India. There will be products that they release out there that we'll get to see here. CES is more like a fantasy game of showcasing the future where we, you may see nothing. But if has actually got products that you're likely to use in the coming year. So AI, uh, car technology, audio and laptops really dominate. And I think the one other thing which you and me love talking about is... TVs. You will see 100 inch, 120 inch TVs so out there. Two of my, two of the four words that you mentioned right now are magic words for me. Okay. AI and audio are business. Yeah, right. So, okay. So right, right. Was, the, the two what A's. Thinking in, the, the it's two not A's laptops. <laughs> it's not laptops. That's, not that's your all. terrain. Yeah. That's your domain. That's your territory. I don't get excited but about But good them. that IFA covers it all. So what we'll do today is that IFA has just got started, but there's a lot that will come. We'll divide this up over two weeks. We'll get started with all some of the big announcements that have happened, some of the new products that have come out. But remember, this is a two-week special. Let's start off with what we have for you this week. As IFA 2018 kicks off in Berlin, expectations ride high and you won't be disappointed. Lenovo unveiled a series of new smart home laptop and augmented reality devices and added to its premium PC portfolio. Say hello to the Yoga C930, powered by the 8th gen Intel Core processor. The 2-in-1 laptop comes with rotating soundbars with Dolby Atmos speaker system too. Both the Yoga C930 and the Yoga Book C930 will be available in Europe and some parts of the world in late September, with starting prices of almost £1,500, which is approximately one lakh twenty thousand rupees, and £1,000, which is approximately eighty thousand rupees, respectively. has added the Xperia XZ3 smartphone to its portfolio. While the new Sony phone hasn't been upgraded much in terms of design, but the good news is that the smartphone runs on Android Pie out of the box. The smartphone comes in four color options, has a dedicated shutter button and is powered by the Snapdragon 845 chipset. The price continues to be a mystery. And then there was Acer, which announced plenty of hardware, including the Acer Swift 5, new gaming monitors and accessories in the Predator and Nitro gaming series, the new Ojo 500 Windows Mixed Reality headset and more. Acer's newly announced Predator Triton 900 literally comes with a twist and has a convertible screen that flips around. It also sports a 4K UHD touchscreen. The 14-inch Acer Swift 5 has also been updated this year and the ultra-portable notebook now comes packed with the same processors as its 15-inch counterpart. We'll be bringing you all the big launches from IFA 2018 next week on the show. Okay, so lots happening at IFA and as Rajiv was saying, we're going to do this over two weeks. Now, there's one particular gadget that Rajiv Makhni has completely destroyed for me. And that's the Apple AirPod. And I'll tell you why. Rajiv, Only hello. because of the name that I have for them, right? No, yeah. He's, Rajiv said this in one of the earliest episodes of the show where he said that looks like you've got wax dripping from your ears and i frankly no, 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 every but time you, I you've see taken it, the name away it's called wax dripping from your ears pods it's a, this is the name for it and i i actually completely and absolutely so, okay. agree once with get, myself that that's the best name unfortunately that, the minute you once you get that image in your mind once you hear that particular description <laughs> every time you see it I can't help it. No, but tell me, I'll tell you what. I, defocus your eyes and look at me. What do you think is happening to me right now? You're isn't it like, like isn't, it, isn't it like I haven't done too much with my ears, especially in terms of hygiene, and they're dripping out the wax now? So Rajiv, it's partly because of that that we spend a lot of time showing people alternatives like this, the Bagi Dash Pro. Now, essentially, this is the same sort of concept. It's wire-free. You just take it. You stick it in your ear. You can walk around with it. 
A lot of the people have it. The Bose has got them, BMW have got them. So but neither, a lot of them are out there. The concept is very simple, that even they give, to give, they give you full stereo, there's no wire that attaches to them. And then almost every single one of them has the same concept that the box is also your charging pod. Yeah. Put them in, you'll get 20, 30, 40 hours of charging from within the same thing. But the Bragi take them to a whole new level, of course. I'm not talking about just price. Yes, the, I mean, price, the price also is taken expensive. to... I mean, like, this is, what, 30,000 rupees so compared to 12,000 yeah, so for that? They, they take it to a whole new level in terms of price also. And but size these, is not small to carry around. These are... That's because they give you extremely high charging. A huge amount of charging built in because much bigger battery in that. Because the product in itself is much smaller. And they also don't drip out of your ear. And uh, they have a slightly better fix in the ear. But it's the level of tuning that you can get. You can literally do frequency tuning with the app. You want to listen to only uh, you know, audio as in voice. You can almost do that. You can customize it to each ear and you know, almost improve your hearing. So these really are a new technology. We used to talk about wearables. These are hearables. And they take it to a whole new level. I really enjoy these, but of course, I can't afford them. Yeah, it's really 30. interesting. And I know I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for a time when everyone will come with things that you just plug into your ears in the morning and just walk around with it all through the day. Hey, it's going to happen. It's going to happen in five years. Remember, you heard it first here. Everyone will wake up in the morning. Are you talking about something like something the movie your Her, where your most, most close companion lives in your ear? Yeah. Other very than the wax? Very realistically. Okay. Very possible. So, we're not there yet, but the Bragi are getting close. Both of them are good looking. Both offer a true wireless experience. Lose an earbud and you'll be cursing your luck and regretting spending all that money for audio on the go. On one hand, you have the Bragi Dash Pro wireless earbuds which cost 29,999 rupees and are a pretty pricey pair of wireless earbuds when you compare them with options like the Apple AirPods which can now be bought online for around 12,000 rupees or the Bose SoundSport Free which cost 20,000 rupees. But the real competition here is between the Bragi Dash Pro and the AirPods. The Dash Pro has larger pods than the AirPods and we feel that they fit better. The design is clean and futuristic at the same time. The outside half of the Bragi Dash Pro is made up of plastic and you see a strip of LED light around the edge which glows green when charged and activated. The AirPods however carry Apple's classic white tone and may appeal to loyalists more. The real innovation in the Bragi Buds is its touch sensitivity in the outer shell which is quite intuitive. To pair the Dash Pro, tap and hold the right earbud to activate pairing mode after which you can connect your Android phone or iPhone. The Dash Pro also comes with 4GB of inbuilt storage so you can carry close to a thousand songs on the go. The AirPods are much simpler to connect though and lack the touch sensitivity. So a point goes to Bragi on this one. We like the fact that one receives some additional ear tips with the Bragi box to help find the one that sits the best inside your ear. As far as portability is concerned, let's just say the chances of dropping a Bragi earbud are lesser than that of an AirPod. The curved rectangular charging case is small enough to fit inside your pockets and similar to the AirPods can be carried on the go. Now let's get down to the brass tacks, performance and sound. The Dash Pro offers a good amount of clarity though even at full volume, the earbuds never get too loud so it's best to use them indoors and in quiet environments. Moreover, swiping across the left earbud allows you to switch from active to passive noise isolation. The touch sensitivity again gives Bragi another point over the AirPods. As far as battery is concerned, the Dash Pros can last about 5 hours worth of charge, but the great thing is the charging case will juice the earbuds up to 5 times. This is similar to the AirPods, so this is a win-win for both. Do remember that with Bragi, you get IPX7 certification for water resistance up to 1 meter, so you can listen to some tunes while swimming. We wouldn't recommend swimming with the AirPods as it's likely they'll fall out. So would you spend 30,000 rupees on wireless earbuds just for voice clarity and to chat over Bluetooth? Well, if you're an audiophile, maybe you would. For those less fussy and with a smaller budget, the AirPods are a perfectly good alternative. Okay, that was the Bragi, and that's 30k, 30,000 rupees for 5,000. Oh, proof. Yeah, you can. You, you can take them, them swimming. Yes, they and really uh, the nice. other cool part which you just I don't discovered hear is you. I really like this. Okay, so so you. The other really cool part is one of the biggest problems when you put these kind of earphones in is you don't know if they're fixed properly. These will actually give you a little ting because now they're firm and they're in and they're not going to come out. So that's another interesting thing out there. But 
if you have 5,000 rupees more to spare, you want something a little bit bigger for your ears, I have another suggestion. That speaker, that speaker, two more at the back and a subwoofer, you spend just 5,000 rupees more. 35,000 for the latest Sony home theater with that. But we need to test it out to see how good it sounds. So let, let, let's get down to what this sounds like. Big companies are finally responding to the need for good sound bars in the Indian market. Sony has expanded its range of home theatre systems in India with the HD series. We have our hands on the Sony HD S700 RF, a 5.1 channel soundbar home theatre system which delivers immersive audio output with tweeters and comes with a premium design featuring a metal grille on all front and rear speakers. A big advantage is the limited wiring system for the new home theatre systems which uses only three wires to connect the main speakers, the subwoofer and additional speakers. Let's be frank, we all hate a spaghetti of cables and in a normal scenario a setup like this would require up to seven wires. The tweeters on the HD S700 RF deliver an audio output of 1000 watts which is quite admirable. For connectivity, they are equipped with Bluetooth 4.2, HDMI, optical inputs, analog audio input and a USB port. You can make use of the soundbar's large 20cm subwoofer which comes with tall boy speakers and provides a great audio experience. The HD S700 RF can be yours for Rs 37,990. The powerful bass and clear vocal sound make it ideal for Indian consumers, claims Sony. So fit it into your living room, sit back and get ready to be transported to another world. And it's time for a quick break but lots more still to come, don't go away. <laughs>